Hello and welcome to FTL Faster Than Light, played by yours truly, King Isaac Lingster. This is a series I've been wanting to kind of try out, where I'm basically going to take a look at the mods that are being created for FTL. I was kind of surprised at just how many there are and how advanced they're starting to get, so I wanted to showcase them. This will be kind of a occasional series, I'm not going to keep to a strict schedule, just be whenever I feel like it. As you can already tell, the game has a background mod, which basically replaces the background images with really high detail, high quality images, and it makes you feel like you're actually flying through space. Um, it's called the Better Planets and Backgrounds mod, I'll have a link for it in the description. The mods, the mod, I should say, that we're going to be playing with today is the Star Trek Universe mod. It's still being developed right now by a guy named Speed of Light, and as you can kind of guess, he's going to put as many Star Trek ships in FTL, and I think that is just really cool. So let's take a look at him. So as you can tell, the first ship that pops up is the Enterprise E, and I'm just, I'm kind of already blown away by the fact that he did custom weapons. The ship design looks really authentic it doesn't you know it doesn't have any weird pop outs so I have to really give him kudos the Enterprise E seems more, more focused on exploration as you kind of guess from you know being a Starfleet vessel you know they're not typically the shoot to kill for the most part we'll just ignore the original series <laughs> and the movies so you start off with two phasers, a photon torpedo, and this shuttle, I have not actually been able to deploy the shuttle, but it's apparently really powerful. Just, I'm just kind of guessing it is. Um, we'll take a look at the other ships, but I just kind of wanted to uh, try, or to show off the Enterprise E. It just, this is just so cool. Um, the Type B is the Defiant, and again, just really well de designed. Uh, I haven't tried this ship out yet. I will uh, give it a try out later. So this this mod is just really cool. It's still being developed, but so far they've got four different ship designs so far with their own alternatives. You've got the Klingon Empire's Negvar. I don't. Uh, I think the Type B is a scout. I should have checked. And, uh, this must be one of the later, or was this one of the, no, this is one of the later designs. Just really cool. I think this one's balanced around cloaking. Yeah, it's got a lot of cloaking. And a lot of weapon power. I would have actually liked to seen this one have, like, really advanced doors. You know, just, yeah, an advanced door system. That would have actually been a nice little flavor just makes sense, you know. Klingon ships would be warships, so you want to protect against intruders. And then you also have the Romulan Empire. I have both types unlocked. You get the Patrol Scout, and then you also get the Dideridex Warbird. I think that's how you say it. I'm just going to say Warbird from now on. Got some custom uh, little room images. I Again, this is just really freaking cool and just someone made this it just I don't know it's still being developed so I'm curious to see what else he puts out and uh, we will definitely be coming back to this mod more and more but first off I want to just do the Enterprise E it is my favorite ship of the entire Star Trek universe and I've watched most of the series uh, so, I think we'll start getting going on this. I'm going to go normal mode. Um, I don't typically play on normal mode, but I figured for the series we will. Which means I will die horribly and a lot quicker. So, let's change the names. Um, Captain King. And it's, it's actually kind of demoing myself. <laughs> and we'll name this one... Moonshine Fox as my second in command. And then 
Gareth 316 as my... I'm gonna make him my engineer. Don't know why, I'm just gonna do that. And then finally, Nina. How about Lieutenant Nina? There we go. Oh, and might wanna make her female. Yeah, that'd be awkward. Alright, so let's get going. There's also Enterprise Scanners. So, Enterprise systems are designed to give sensors more output power than other ships. Interesting augmentation. And I also have another mod that lets me strip for nearby scrap, but that's cheating, so we're not going to do it. Alright, so Nina, you are going to be shields. Oh, eh, helps if I unpause. Fox, you will be in charge of weapons, and Gareth, you'll be in charge of the engine room. And I will command the ship, like I always should. <laughs> Now you think this would be really overpowered, but these small phaser rays only do one damage per shot and they do not penetrate the shields. So you kind of lean on this, the photon torpedoes a lot, and they take a long time to charge up. So not nearly as overpowered as first glance would show. And then this thing requires four power just to charge and I have not yet been able to deploy it so it's kind of crazy so and you also have a, a giant teleport room which makes sense I mean Starfleet always seems to rely on teleporters a lot and you have a big medical bay I, I just it all really nicely meshes together but it's not overpowered surprisingly enough so Alright, so let's engage and get out of here. And we're going to cause some trouble. Alright, Rebel Scout, we're going to stop him from attacking that outpost. Oh good, we don't have to knock out his shields. That is always helpful. Kills weapons. And they've put in the Star Trek weapons, which is just, again, really cool. And he hits my engines. Oh, oops, forgot to put on auto fire. That tends to help, I hear. And go and repair that. And for some reason, auto fire is not working today. Don't know why. Hmm. All right, some fuel, some drone parts, some scrap. So this is kind of the idea of FTL, and you know, you just go around trying to survive through eight sectors of space, and then you have to face off against a bad guy. And Fox, you're in the wrong place. Switch positions with Gareth. Alright, where should we go? Hmm, let's go here and cause some more trouble. <clears throat> Alright, another... F <laughs> great, now they're trying to get away. Alright, disable phaser, turn on the torpedo, and target his engines. Oh, this is going to be fun with that guy around. And he's got a missile, so this is going to get painful. Especially if he hits my shields in one hit. Or my engines, that works too. And that almost takes out his engines. Then I take another shot for missiles. Alright, nicely done. We're gonna have to keep targeting that engine room though. And we take a hit to the shields and to our medical bay. This is going straight. Ow. Taking a lot of damage. Okay, go back there and repair that. Missiles, jeez, that missile launcher just took a huge chunk out of us. Oh, that was not worth the scrap. 
That really was not. Took a ton of damage, and yeah, this is all going real well. Okay, let's get out and repair the ship. Okay, you stay here. Let's turn that off so we can heal. Alright, King back to command, Fox back to weapons, Nina back to shields, and Gareth back to the engine room. Alright, this could really go better. Or this really needs to go better. Good grief. Yay, 28 scrap. Ouch. Boy, those are hideously expensive. Klingon torpedo launcher and photon torpedoes, just more of it, sorry. Repair, can't really sell anything, so there we go. Let's add another reactor bar and engage. And you know what, we don't like slaver scum, so let's attack them. Target his shields and fire. The torpedo launcher takes a long time to charge up to, and that missile is going to hurt. And yes, it does. Knocks it out. Really, that didn't knock out the shields. Nope. Oh, there he went. Alright, continue targeting the shields. Alright, so they're basically out of shields. Let's knock out their weapon systems real quick. Uh, Nina, back to that, and Gareth, back to that. And it's usually a good idea to take slaves. Unless you're really just anti slight word. Alright, welcome aboard, Weston. <laughs> New guy named Weston. Um. You're just going to be general repair guy, so stay on O2, because that seems to be getting targeted by everyone. And engage. Nothing around. Nice little background. And jump to the next spot. Oh goody, pirates. And they've managed to shut down our engines. Well, this is going to be fun. Um, yep, yeah, we're going to have to take out their shields yet again. And they've got a missile launcher, because that's what we need right now. And they knock out our doors. Oh, okay. Fire torpedoes! Completely knock him out. Alright, kill him and him. And then we lose our shields. Great. And boom. Take that. Alright, let's get people healed while we're waiting for the ship to get repaired. We still don't have all that much scrap, but I really wish we get some more. <clears throat> Alright, Nina back to shields, Gareth back to engines. And you just stay there because they seem to be liking that now. Alright, engage. Apologies if you can hear the piano in the background. I really can't do anything about that. They weren't playing a minute ago. Alright. Jump to the next sector. To... How about we go to the NG controlled space? I don't want to go through a nebula. 
Alright. Yeah, might as well help out the distress call. And you find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you help. We need help. Alright, let's beam them aboard. They reluctantly agree, and... Looks like he's going to join our crew. Cubbin, welcome aboard. You go to the O2 room. Or should I take that back? You go there. Uh, Weston, you're going to take over weapons. Moonshine Fox, you're going to go there. And you guys are going to be our assault team. Hopefully I'll add more to you. Right, jump. Hello, parts. Get the phasers and knock them out, and then you target our drone bay. Eh, that's fine, I'm not gonna use it here anyway. Alright, beam on board, knock out their shields. And then our medical bay takes a hit. Now you can f stop firing now, thank you. And now he comes to rescue his friend. Ugh, that hurt. There we go. And that's gonna hit and smack us in the hole. Joy. Alright, beam back up. And go see yourself into sick bay so you can get healed up. Ready to go. Jump. And we'll go answer this distress call. Alright. Looks like they've been illegally mining. Um. I'll try and dislodge them. See? I'm nice occasionally. Alright, I think we can enhance the ship again, and that gives us two full deals of shield, so... Let's, there we go! Now we shouldn't take quite such a beating. And let's go here. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll help them out, they'll just follow along in our wake. <laughs> Intruder on deck. Hmm. Okay, good. This guy didn't screw me over. That would have been fun. Alright, you're gonna go with the assault team. And actually kill these guys, please. Teleport over the shields. Shields are knocked out, so we'll just knock that out. Go here, and go here. Actually, you go here, take him out. Before he restores the pinnacle bay, preferably. Get out of there, I'm gonna knock it out. That's better. Can't heal if you're getting killed. And, oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry about that. Alright. Nicely done, folks. Back to healing. 
Let's see. How about we expand the drone control just a bit? A little more power, and there we go. I'm kind of curious to see what that does. Pretty sure we can get the power. All right. All right, let's get out of here. First, we gotta heal up. Earth back to your post, and you go there and jump. I don't want to exit quite yet, gotta complete that quest. Let's investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six legged, horse like animals. Hmm. Let's try to communicate peacefully. Yeah, we get an NG. Nice. Now we have two NGs. Very, very nice. You're gonna replace Gareth. Sorry, Gareth, you're now the <laughs> red shirt. <laughs> oh, you're doomed. Um, and we'll just hold on to that scrap for now. We actually need to repair soon. Alright, we've made our quest. There we go. And then we are going to jump into the store real quick. Repair all, and that's pretty much all we can do for now. Missiles, final fuel, and jump. And jump again. Yeah, we can go to the home worlds. And let's go here. Attack the mantis just because. Launch! Seems rather ineffective. Okay, that could hurt. In fact, that did hurt. Everyone repair that. And now we're getting hit all over the place. This is going to start hurting. Oh! Go there. Launch that. And then that shuttle's not quite as strong as it was. Ow. Solid hit on that. Boy, that took a beating. Alright. Got a sick bay. And actually turn on that. And there we go. 